Multicellular organisms begin as a single cell. This first cell undergoes repeated cell divisions. The embryo grows by constantly dividing into more cells. In the beginning, cells are not specialized. These unspecialized cells are called stem cells. But as the embryo grows, cells begin to specialize so that they can perform different functions. The process of stem cells becoming different types of cells is called cell differentiation. Because of the cell cycle, every cell in a multicellular organism is genetically identical. They all have the same set of DNA. So if every cell has the same DNA, how can some cells look and act so differently? Even though all cells have the same set of DNA, they are not expressing the same genes. Different types of cells have different genes turned on. Expressing different genes also causes cells to produce different messenger RNA molecules. This means that although different types of cells have the same DNA, they do not have the same RNA. Having a different set of mRNA molecules will cause the different types of cells to make different proteins. These proteins cause the cell to have its specific structure and function. By controlling gene expression, cells with the same set of DNA can become a wide variety of different cells with unique structures and functions. In the body, stem cells are kept inside microenvironments called stem cell niches. Stem cells respond to the signals from the cells in this environment. These signals can prevent or start the differentiation process. When new cells are needed to replenish or repair tissue, the niche cells help regulate the division of stem cells so that new cells can be created while stem cells are still kept inside the niche for later use. When stem cells are added to a tissue, chemical signals from the surrounding cells communicate which gene should be turned on. As the cell begins to express these genes, it will differentiate into the correct form of specialized cell.